And mm. I found the amazing lake. It is totally worth going up there, by the way. I have to say hiking Idaho is one of the best so far. And Idaho has the most preserved wilderness out of the lower 48. Only Alaska beats it. We arrived in Stanley, Idaho, a very beautiful place, and we're setting off on a long hike for the day. So I think we're near Redfish Lake, but I don't think we've actually seen it yet. We passed the lake coming in, but I don't think that's Redfish yet. So we'll hit that on the way out. But yeah, we're starting a trail. Yeah, let's see. There's supposed to be a series of five lakes. Up until the second or third one, there is a trail. Beyond that, there is not, but they say it's very easy to continue off trail. So yeah. one thing that's been really helpful is uh, all trails, you can download maps. And so we're just going to rely on that and you can, I think, access it even without service. Yeah, you just got to pay. Yeah, but it's worth it in this case because, yeah, the map wasn't super helpful. So we're going to rely on the All Trails map to get us through. We're some way into the Redfish Trail, which we're going to go beyond, but now we're getting views of the Redfish Lake. This lake is so stunning. I don't know if it's always this color, but yeah, it's like blue and the closer you get to the shore, it's like a nice green and turquoise. And I actually came here 11 years ago and I attempted to wakeboard in that. It was very cold and I didn't manage to succeed, but a lot of people like to use it for jet skiing, wakeboarding. You can camp, you can hike. And it's a giant lake. It keeps going this whole stretch here. You can still see some mountains with snow out there, but this is actually really great temperature. We've got full sun. I'm sweating already, but so far not a high incline yet. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, just so far it's easy, just a little rocky. So we reached a place in the middle of the wilderness here where it says permits and there's a box and you are required to fill out a permit, take the copy and then you have to give this on you while you're in this wilderness. But it's interesting that you find that out here. It wasn't down at the bottom. Well, they do tell you at the bottom, but they don't have the box for you to get your permit, which is why we were like, oh, we need to drive somewhere and actually find it. So we just filled out the registry instead at the bottom and just kept hiking till we got to this point. Now, if you notice here, it says already close to certain kinds of vehicles beyond here. And it says not exactly national forest, but national forest wilderness. And here you see it right here. Sawtooth Wilderness, Sawtooth National Recreation Area. That means that you're actually now where no development is allowed, motorized things are not allowed, and you take a big responsibility for knowing how to take care of yourself. Yeah, another reason to have that permit, just a record of you being here in case something happens. <laughs> That's right, and there's moose out here. Yeah, things do happen. Another thing that happened right after we crossed into the wilderness is that now we're in the Alpine proper. We're surrounded by the peaks. And we're walking on a little rocky trail. This is what you associate with your alpine environments. And we're gonna continue this way towards those alpine peaks. The trail is now amazing. It is, it opened up a lot. The trail's a little bit rockier. Got my first mosquito bite. <laughs> So they are indeed out here. This is such a treat in the Sawtooth Mountain. You see recent snowfall there in July. Mm -hmm. And it lines all these mountains. Here it is, our first snow. Still here. <laughs> Beautiful grove now. It's very green. And the plant under the trees is like a little carpet. We just found our second lake. That should be two out of five. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one is the one that if you said is not at all spectacular. Are you kidding? It's really nice. So what are the other ones going to be like that? This is not spectacular. That's the big question. So here's a curious sign that says stock tie. And what that really means is this thing up here. There's no amenities at all except this. And it's a tie that allows you to hang your food because you are where many wild animals are and particularly bears will come here and go through your stuff unless you secure it. This area here flattens and a lot of people were talking about camping up here so they would hike in with all their gear that they need to camp and then they will 
slip over and from here that extends your range so you can hike way in this way Are they hikes from here? yep we found this third lake and the one where the trail ends so now we're going off trail and we saw the first animal I'm not sure what it was it looked to me almost like a ferret of sorts that's the closest reference I could think of it was like kind of long low to the ground looked really fluffy it was like a dark brown but yeah it ran across the trail yes yeah, like a weasel or a martin yeah or, I don't know a martin. another one <laughs> that's right <laughs> and here it's getting cold so we're gonna put on our jackets and try to find our way to the next uh lake there are two more off trail yeah. you have the lake and the really peaks pretty. yeah see if you camp here you've got two lakes like right next to each other so that's pretty sweet and people do camp here as you can see we're standing in a fire pit so there are no more trails really they're full on trees all over the place and we saw another couple go through here somehow we were busy with our cameras but what we gotta do now is really look for tracks from shoes look for the path of least resistance and cross-check against the map that we have of this area. Oh, nice. That's so pretty. Yeah, this is a really pretty one. Yeah, and these are the ones they say are not special. They, they say the fifth one is the special one that we have to find off the trail. But yeah, how is this not special? Crystal clear water, if you want it, we could drink it. so cold I had to put my hood on to warm my ears it's chilly it's um <laughs> you know the sun is out but you can see there's patches of snow still and this lake being so cold with this air it's acting like an air conditioner of sorts <laughs> and it's just like blowing on you and you're just like ooh, it's like chilly <laughs> yeah see a little trail around the lake maybe this one disappears too from the reports we read I have to say hiking Idaho is one of the best so far I've hiked the Alps, the Balkans, Mexico, Central America, Belize, Hawaii, Japan Montana, Montana, many places, the west coast all over mm -hmm. um, Idaho is among the best for sure it's really great, I like it, it feels a lot like the northwest or just you know Washington I guess that's what we had the most reference to but you now this hike in particular wasn't really that challenging getting up and you don't even have to go all the way out here. I think a lot of families we passed, they probably just came to the first and second lake. Just turn around and go back. If you want to keep going, you can. But it's a nice and easy hike if you don't want to go all the way. And Idaho has the most preserved wilderness out of the lower 48. Only Alaska beats it. And Alaska is way too cold. So yeah. if you want an authentic wilderness experience that is still quite manageable, come to Idaho. What's up? I feel like an explorer. You are. Just a couple of Gemini discovering. I guess in a way I'm lucky that I grew up on next to the woods where I hiked off trail a lot and I don't I don't feel phased by it and I know what it takes to backtrack and you need to figure out in your mind and along the landmarks how to go back and so on uh, the danger though is wild animals and injuries and here there's several predators they can hurt you but there's also I checked all the snakes only one is poisonous that does too much is the rattlesnake here we're in a place which looks like another suitable campground but because of that it actually there are many places you can proceed and I need to reference the map to make sure we're going the right way so you can see here the red was what we followed that we got lost basically off the trail at this point and there are two more lakes or even more than two actually so I think the smartest way to proceed is to track the water which is that way and there's a trail that way mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to do So if you've never been to the Alpine, it's loaded with insects, way more than you would ever expect. Wearing long pants, long sleeve shirts, even if you're really hot, the higher up you go, the colder it'll get and the more bugs it'll be. So you'll be grateful for having your sleeves. <laughs> the trail is really fuzzy at this point. Oh, I see it, I see it. Let's see if this is 
able to be done. Yeah, yeah, right here. There we go. <laughs> the part that makes you feel like an adventurer going off trail of sorts, which I'm not very comfortable with, I'll be honest with that. <laughs> I would never do this alone. <laughs> and in fact you shouldn't, because if you do it alone, if anything goes wrong, you, no one can help you. story I think of some guy in Washington who yeah, broke his ankle, he was like trail running, and they said he like dragged himself like over eight miles. Yes, this is a real wilderness, don't come alone, that's rule number one. Really it's fallen tree which obscure the trail here and makes people turn around. But we just met a couple that made it one more lake over. And it's actually really close on the map. Yeah. You, can, you can go around maybe or yeah. just straight through either way. Many fallen trees. No one quite comes up here to cut through them like Boy Scouts do normally. This is why it's a wilderness. Alright, this definitely is bushwhacking. There is no trail. All we're doing is sticking to the direction we have to and finding the path of least resistance and looking for clearing so we don't have to mess with the bushes too much and the trees and what's really making it a pain are all the fallen trees here. How's your first bushwhacking experience? I hate bushwhacking so much but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I would never be able to find my way out of this, let me just say. <laughs> I, I got the pathfinding. Don't worry about the way because I got it. Just traverse. I'll find our way out of here. Uh, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm Asian. I like clear cut paths. <laughs> well, Asians used to live in the jungle even at one time too. I'm, used to. I'm pretty far removed from that. <laughs> Hiking with an Asian wife. <laughs> I'm just glad these boulders kind of didn't let the trees and the bushes grow out. So we're finding some clear path here. I'm wearing my hood mostly because the mosquitoes will eat my neck and my ears. I hear the brook. Is it under us? It yeah, be. I swear there's water under us. There is. It's been yeah. the entire time. Yeah, man, that's actually my guiding line because there's uh, it goes between the lakes. Gotcha. So that's how I'm able to. Yeah, that makes sense. However, when it's Sounds like it's under me, I don't like that. Exactly, that's why my foot, when you step, you're like, gotta make sure that you're not gonna go through. Yeah, which is why we'll go this way. Both hands also must be free at all times to break a fall. Exactly. Now the reason why you put your camera over here, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, now we're sort of scrambling. We're not using our arms much, but they help. We just traversed through all that, can you believe it? I'll believe it when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is good though, it's not very hard from here. No? Okay. No, it's uh, more of the same, just we passed through, not the thick bush, but boulders. We successfully bushwhacked one more lake over, and it's pretty. It's green out there. It's pretty. The other two lakes are actually prettier, which is interesting because, yeah, they said in the reviews that they were mediocre, it wasn't that great, but I'm like, to me, this is the one that's been the least stunning of the few but there is one more lake that remains what something interesting about this lake is there's a marsh around it so we can't actually approach it all that much it floods and it really breeds mosquitoes so we need to they're giant yeah i had two land on my jacket and i was like oh my god trying to eat you through the jacket yeah. yeah yeah so now it's more bushwhacking and extra hampered by snow so let's see how we do with that. I think the real trail is that way, if you can call it that. Right here, and I think this is the trail. Let's see what we get. Ah, snow, shows tracks. Beautiful. Somebody give this hike a one star review because they got mad the trail gets obscured. If you're a noob, don't do it. But don't, don't leave bad reviews because you're a noob. But honestly, that's one of the things I like about all trails is that you can read reviews and you get an idea of the conditions. And in this case, they tell you, you can get to the first two lakes just fine. After that, it gets, it gets hard. And then you can decide for yourself if you want to do it. All right. Now there's a split. I believe this is the better way. But I'll reference my map. And yeah, going to the left is better because okay. yeah, otherwise you run into the lake. I guess that's the mini trail to go see the lake. Here we have more snow and more fallen trees and a creek in our way. Hmm. I can easily cross this. You can also... Go through, that, yeah. through the bush. Yeah. I can jump this myself. Oh. Yeah, and the trail does continue, so... This creek was not on the map. Huh. 
Are you sure this is right behind me? Yeah, the trail is right behind me. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright, good. Okay. All right, we're literally in the bush now. Yep. And there's more bush, but you do end up on the trail right there. You're almost there. My sticks are now getting stuck. That's the issue, yeah. Yeah. This bush sucks. <laughs> it's so thick. All right, now we're in a beautiful forest. <laughs> it's much easier. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> All right, well, got my sticks at least. <laughs> my guide shows her. Yeah, my map shows her doing the right thing. It's kind of winding around here, probably because of obstacles. But yeah, this is it. We're doing it. To me, it's lost again, but we'll try to find it. But it looks like we have to climb now. Yeah, the map shows the lake is up there. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get up. I'm still walking on somewhat of a trail here, but I think it's about to end, period. It may look flat, but when you turn down, it's not flat. It's not flat, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this looks like a trail to me. If it isn't, it will become. Now it's steep and we've been at it for five miles, over a mile, I think, of bushwhacking. And it's high elevation, so we're panting. You do have to be fit here. I have never seen Susie hike this hard and, and go off trail. Well, now you have. <laughs> now I have. After eight years of doing this together, you're getting braver. It's your fault. Would you let me turn around? <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of rubble at this point. It's not that much boulders and bush. Treacherous nevertheless. I keep repeating this comment from all trails app. It says you must go to the fifth lake, you must go. So here we are. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it's not in frame, but I'm hiking with this on my side. Fourth of July weekend is the time to conquer. Yeah. Just like the revolutionaries. All right, we're on top. Look at that. This is another code of mountaineering. You watch for each other at all times. You don't let people slip out of sight. You made it. I'm okay. Yes, you are. Part of why I'm willing to break my back with so many cameras and crazy hiking is because we're staying at the lodge which has a natural hot spring in it and you know if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it did it really fall wow. and if you go bushwhacking and it's not on youtube did you really go here's why we love this this is what oh is awaiting us here <laughs> here we go oh my god Sawtooth Mountains, Sawtooth Wilderness proper, out of Stanley, Idaho. Final 10 yards. 10 yards? Yes. Okay. Right here, there's a very civilized path. And here is the lake. And our picnic bench. Wow. It's only us. The clearest water you'll ever see. Simply that snow melting and it's that pure. It's been real. This is a great hike. It's the best I've done in a long time, probably since Montana. Oh, wow. This is our picnic. Mm. <clears throat> it tastes so good. Matador mm -hmm. beef jerky. Mm. So damn good. Mm -hmm. And being here makes it 10 times better. Mm -hmm. That's another pro tip, especially if you're gonna go on a longer hike. And I'm so glad I insisted. We had to get snacks because yeah, when you get to the end or the halfway point, still gotta go back. <laughs> so yes. you might as well have some fuel to get you back the other way. And yeah, like the hangry thing is real, at least for me. It's like, if I don't get a snack or something, it's like my mood can get really, really bad. So it just helps you keep better spirits and have enough energy to get to the end. It sure is true for women. 
<laughs> I'm just saying it's a true thing. Like it does happen. Oh, I know. And, <laughs> and food makes all the difference. Like it's interesting. If you just have a snack, sit down, drink some water, have a snack, <laughs> and you're like, okay, <laughs> I feel better. <laughs> I don't mind pushing myself to that limit as well, like going without food for a while. Yeah. But I, I think it's a man thing actually. Yeah. I even have a nut butter filled mm, I would coconut. surely enjoy half of that. I know, yeah. I'm going to split it with you. We got this for Zion and it was still in my bag. And I'm, pretty, I'm certain I have one more of these bars. And so I do. And so, yes, we will share it. All right. We'll see you on the way down. One last glimpse of the glamour here. It was fantastic. Well worth the hike. Now we got to go back. Where do you see? I don't know. It looks possibly like a trail. There we go. Good job, you spotted it. We need to find our way back through the boulder field that is inclined. But hey, here's the view of another lake. It's kind of amazing to me how comfortable going down is right now. <laughs> yes, for me. It's not that bad. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it could be a lot worse. And this is where you get tired of going slowly and start running down like a maniac. I used to do that and it's really, really fun. But one mistake can kill you, so I've stopped after I passed 30 because I want to live till 90 or 100 now yeah. and keep on making movies. Yeah. And we're now down, all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps our stint into the Soul Tooth Wilderness. We did it. It was fantastic. It was great. I'm not, a, I'm not even a hardcore hiker and I really enjoyed it. So, just saying. And you did some bushwhacking. You went up the boulder field. I did. And yeah. I found the amazing lake. It is totally worth going up there, by the way. Absolutely. Best lake. Best one. We did it. We did it. So, coming back, we even found another path back to our car, which goes along the river. Super pretty. Really nice way to end. And here we go, our car is waiting and it hasn't been broken into, very nice. You can see the light has diminished a lot since we left. 10.1, took us 6 hours, that's our whole route. Yeah, keep going. You show the bushwhack there, but you don't have internet. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is a cool feature. Yeah, really cool. We're going to eat a big meal and sink in the hot tub. Well, we've really done it this time. You know. I should get a half here. No, no, get a full. I'll help you. <laughs> you better help I'll me. I'll help you. Maybe. But I'm excited, yeah. This yeah. smells, it looks amazing. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. It's like as big as you. Yeah. <laughs> and I have mine right here. Nicely charred. And a baked potato. That's what sold me right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a salad, so it's not all meat. Yeah. Right. And yeah. a beer, so it goes down easier. Yeah. This is how you end so we completely overestimated our abilities and we have more than half it's right leftovers. here. Leftovers is very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's for breakfast. But we had to get pie. Yeah, so yeah. I guess I was really happy with this because we ordered a lot of food even though we didn't eat it all. It's true, we racked up a hundred dollar bill. But it was delicious. In like a tiny it small so town. Good. It's yeah. really your only restaurant option, but you know what? It was really good. <laughs> I don't mind if that's the only restaurant in town. It's good. I look at the, the pavement, is straight up logs. I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's really nice. Design. There's the village mart that has everything you need in it, including ammo for your guns <laughs> and your food. Yeah, so like yeah. that's right. It's a great place. Stanley, Idaho. Yeah. Only the chosen few know. Oh, that feels really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, with the breeze? Yeah. If the breeze comes through and it really cools you off. Oh, that's amazing. That's a great view. Yeah, right? There's wow. snow in July. Incredible. <laughs>